Hello friends, it is Emma from MK Plans and I am back with a, another haul video. So a few, I guess, housekeeping things. We are not going to talk about my nails. I left it one week too long to go to the salon and yep, yeah, it's bad. So it is what it is. Um, also, I reset up my desk since the last time that I filmed a haul and um, I cannot work out how I had my camera the before and I know like the angle is off it's facing like not straight down and I cannot work out how to get it back but I hope it's okay I can stay in frame and it's not too big of a deal um, but it is what it is I apologize also the cat is running around so you might hear her in the background um, right on cue she starts meowing so I have my US box haul for the month of what's this month um, well, it's now July, but this was from June, this one. I feel like I thought it wasn't going to be very big, but, I mean, that's kind of a lot of stuff. Um, and I was forced to send it because I had been holding stuff in storage for too long. So, um, I also don't think my next haul is going to be too far behind because I'm kind of have started ordering stuff again. I really went through, like, a two-month phase of just not, um... I'm not really vibing with anything to be honest and then like some summer art came out which you'll see and I really just kind of started to get back into it so I've got a bit to go through so let's go through um this geez that's still in frame that's how bad my frame is there we go so um this is from a friend um who I am very thankful for so um she sent me these um, what are they called? Coffee Monsters Co. stickers because she had like a long story short she ended up with like a duplicate order um, and she like sent me a video of the stuff that she had and like kind of let me pick through um, what I wanted so I'm very thankful to you Ange I really appreciate it um, I know you watched my video so thank you so here is what I um, went through and picked so I haven't ordered from Coffee Monsters Co in a very long time I just find myself more leaning towards um, Paper Shire now I just I don't know I feel like the stickers come quicker from the UK than they do from Canada and I just like her stuff so um, but anyway, it's nice to have some fresh new stickers. So I picked up fast food because I really liked the, um, the variation. I feel like I'm going to try and point more with this finger, even though I normally point with this finger. Um, I like the variation. So pizza, um, like taco, burger, wrap or like burrito, nachos and fries. The only thing I wish is the fry fry the fries box was a little more neutral um i don't really use red with anything um so that's a bit annoying but i'll find a use for it then i got drinks i don't really have anything like this um the drink stickers that i do have are quite bright pink um or like dark red for wine i just liked the variation of this like even though i don't drink beer like if i'm having a drink like i don't mind using the beer sticker if it matches um so yeah, I just like the variation, and I think the size is a good size as well. Um, next, I have um, Anxiety Attack. Um, I just feel like this one, well, you can probably see it better, like here, um, is good for like a headache. Obviously that one says like panic, anxiety, stress, but like that does happen. Um, then you've got like the, this one's like nervous to me. And then, what's this one say? Oh. Uh, I can't really read that, but I just, I don't know, I felt like it was a good kind of overall anxious, nervous, like stressed, um, sheet. And then I got happy because I had to cancel out the, um, <laughs> depressed ones. I just like the variation of this. Um, I think I've only ever had happy 2.0, so this is like a new sheet for me. Then we've got feeling achy and sore. I feel like I don't have any like sore stickers I have like sick and I have like sad but I don't have any sore and I just liked like the different again variations um this one is like a good one like lying down with a hot water bottle um like pain more pain that one's got like band-aids and stuff okay the cat's just jumped up onto the desk so this is going to be interesting <laughs> um then I got fatigued obviously speaks for itself um I really like the battery 
um, like running low. I have like a sheet that has like literally just battery running low stickers um, and I'm pretty sure like I've, earned, I've used up the last one just recently so I like this that it's not like sleep and it's not like tired it's like really fatigued. Um, here we go about to have an appearance. <laughs> this is Nera. I don't think you guys have met her before. <laughs> this is my cat. Okay we're, we're done here. Come on come down. I am filming a video sweetheart. All right she's jumped down so that's that's narrow. Um, then I have grocery. I feel like you never can have enough grocery stickers speak for themselves. Oops. Then I have iced coffee. I am an iced coffee person till death. I do not drink hot coffee. So um, I feel like this was, this is one for me. And then last but not least, I have takeout, which I generally don't use um, like generic takeout stickers, but I liked that this is like a pizza box. And then there's like um, a food bag, which to me looks like a McDonald's bag. I don't know about this one. This looks like a garbage bag to me. Um, so I don't really know what food I would use that for, but I liked it and um, I got it. So again, thank you, Ange, for sending those to me. She also sent me some other um, non-planner related goodies, which was so sweet. So I really appreciated that. Again, that was from the Coffee Monsters Co., Next, let's go into my other character sticker, I guess. Not character sticker at all, don't listen to me. Um, what do they call it? Like doodle script. Little shop, I can't even speak English. Um, so, this is from Carly Plans, and this is my second to last PR order. Um, so, in this order, I do have my PR freebie, but now my term has ended, so um, you can't use it anymore. Um, Thank you to everyone who did use my code and supported me and messaged me saying they did use it. I really appreciate it. Um, hopefully it helped you guys out as well to get a discount, but I know I very much appreciated it. So I've got um, her business card. This was my freebie. Um, looks like this was in a... Is this like the June color? No, like a pastel colorway. I'm not going to play name the icon because I feel like it's just embarrassing at this point so um that's my freebie then i got the may freebie um i love her freebies i feel like they're so usable i actually think her freebies and then the spc like doodle color freebies are the only freebies i actually ever use so i really enjoy that this is the $15 plus, and then this is the $30 plus, and then this is the $50 plus. I really like these. I'll definitely use the TVs and the switches, the books, and the pillows. Um, I'll find a use for the bikinis, but definitely... Oh, jeez, she just scared the crap out of me. Definitely the other ones. Come on, come down. I'm trying to film a video. You're being very naughty. Come on. I don't think my viewers would like to see your head so can you please move it along okay let's she'll probably jump back up here again but <sighs> if she does it again I will try and move her bed in here so she <laughs> can relax but anyway I was saying I really enjoy this freebie oh Jesus I've got the hundred dollar plus freebie as well I really don't think I spent a hundred dollars but I could have like that could be a thing so um this sticker always makes me think of Plan with Elisa because I'm pretty sure that's her favourite Carly Plans doodle. I've got the pyjamas, the cloud, the stickers, and then the like Kindle. So, love this. Um, I picked up the Subway bag. So, I will use any excuse to pick up one of her fast food bags. But we don't have majority of the fast food here in Australia that like you guys have. So... I will jump on one that I have and we have Subway so I really I don't have Subway that often but I was like you know what I need it and I don't care so I got that um, I then got the meal kit because um, we do do HelloFresh and every plate kind of like just depends on the meals of the week which one we go with but um, I like that this one was like generic and I can use it for either then I got some scripts um, some custom some not custom. I always like love reading my custom scripts because I order them so like I ordered these like three months ago and that's not like on Carly that's on me because my mail takes so long. Um, 
<laughs> and I'm like, oh, that's right, I was doing that thing at that time or whatever. So, um, these are my non custom. So, I got meal kit delivery, obviously perfect. I love that it's not like branded. I have HelloFresh delivery, but I like that these is just meal kit. And then I have read. Um, I've been really getting into reading again. Um, I've been reading Akatar again. <laughs> I just finished the series for the first time and now I'm going back and reading it again and I just wanted some black read scripts. Um, I use the, like there's one that comes in the SPC foil bundle that I use um, but often I need more in a spread so I like just having them in black. Then I got film because all of my YouTuber scripts from other shops, I literally have used up all the film and only have like edit and upload left. So I just needed some film. Then these are my customs. So I got with Troy, obviously pretty self-explanatory. And I got with Josh, my brother. Then I got frappe um, because that's kind of my weak thing in the morning. I can't stop getting frappes from... McDonald's, <laughs> um, so I needed a script to mark that. At the moment, I either mark it with just like a coffee script or a um, McDonald's script, but I like having this. And then these are the two stickers that I was kind of laughing at. So I ordered this when I was really back into playing Planet Zoo and Planet Coaster. I've kind of taken a little bit of a step back from that. Um, at the moment, I've been playing some other games, but I know I will play these two games again. I love them. So um, I'm really happy to have the scripts for it. Whew. Okay, that was my order from Carly Plants. And as I mentioned, um, I was on her PR team, but I'm not for this term. So, <coughs> excuse me, um, my code is now no longer, but who knows, maybe again in the future, we'll see. Next is another order from a friend, and this is a fat fucking order. Um, <laughs> this is from Plan With Elisa, and she is my, like, foil bundle. I pretty much don't buy foil bundles, well, I don't, anymore from, you know, the shop. Um, I just buy them from her when she buys them, decides she doesn't want them anymore, and then sells them to me. So, I have a fat stack. Um... I used to buy from her and then she would send it like to me every order and then I realized like I don't need this stuff now why don't you just like sit on it and send it to me <laughs> I don't know I don't care whenever um, so she was accumulating this stack for me and then we realized it was probably gonna start costing money like it's too heavy so I decided to get it sent over and I already have another stack building up thank you as always Lisa I really appreciate you <laughs> um, you really help me out in finding or giving me, selling me this stuff that I really don't have another other way to buy. So, um, and I appreciate you keeping it aside for me. Um, so let's get into the foil stuff first of all. So this is her old freebie from Planner Hannah um, with the Life Finds A Way quote, um, obviously from Jurassic Park. So I have this in, um, let me show you. This is my current spread that I'm behind. See how bad that camera angle is? Jesus. Um, here we go. This is my Jurassic Park spread and I'm gonna have to like hold it up because the angle is so bad. And I have it in this weird like tortoiseshell kind of bizarre foil that doesn't match the rest of the spread. And I didn't know that she sent this to me. This was a surprise. So I'm literally gonna stick this on top because obviously this is red um, and hope that I line it up so it goes over this one. Which is the most extra thing ever. Do I need to do it? No. Does the other one look fine? Yes, but I um, can't not do it. So that's what I'm going to do. Thank you for sending that through. I very much appreciate you. Then we have some foil bundles. Um, majority of these are actually from Caress Press, which is surprising. Normally they're from SPC. Um, so first one is this pink... I don't know the foil colours. I don't really stay up to date with her shop anymore. Um, I have used this foil bundle twice already and I loved it. Um, so I decided to pick up another one. I just think it's a very pretty like mid-range pink. It's not like magenta and it's like, I don't know, not sparkly. It's not like over the top. It's just really pretty. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I don't know, it's just a really pretty 
pink. The only thing that you know I'm going to say is I don't like the whimsical bow. Um, but something I've been doing recently is kind of mixing and matching my foil bundles. I've realised that you don't just have to use one bundle and use everything and that's it for the week. Like you can mix it up. So I've been doing that. Um, so I'll just pull in a different, um, uh, what do you call it, like foil bottom washi. Um, I did pick up this as well because I like these. That's number one. Then we've got, jeez, oh, I have a lot of these. Are these all the same bundle? No. Yes. These are all the same. Okay, we've got the Dragonfly format, which from Caress Press. Um, I didn't pick any of these up in the main shop. I don't know why. I kind of I loved the bundle format, but I just was like, I don't know. I just didn't buy any. Um, but obviously, Elisa was selling them, so all of a sudden it means I have to buy them. I don't know. I will definitely use these. I don't think I needed them in every color, but. Who knows? Often I just say, like, yeah, whatever, just throw it in. I'll find a use for it. Again, I think this will be nice um, because I'll be able to, like, pull in... Um, like, I don't have to use the whole Dragonfly bundle. Like, I can pull it in. Also, I think these are the bundles that Elisa makes. So she, um, like, one of these pages is not enough. So she buys, like, an ultimate... What do you call it? Like, a big one and a mini and then like makes a bundle and I think that's what this is so I appreciate that. So I have the Dragonfly format in silver which you can kind of see. Um, you get the full boxes, the bottom washi and then this page. I have it in hollow which I don't really know when I would ever use this in hollow but that's okay. This one has the bougie boxes which no yes it does. Um, whatever I don't really care I don't need them or I if it's a fun foil from Caress Press, I will buy the bougie. If it's not, I won't, um, but whatever, that's fine. Gold, I really like this in gold. I'll definitely be using this. And then I also have it in rose, which who knows when I'll use it in rose, but that's okay. And then last foil bundle I have is this one from, again, Caress Press. Um, I probably didn't need this because I actually already owned it, but I don't think I owned, I didn't know that I owned it when I bought this. So, um, it is in rose and it is the daisy format. So, um, it's pretty, like I'll definitely find a use for it, but I just didn't need it. So those are my foil bundles. Did I need any of those? No, not really, whatever. Then I picked up this um, May 22, 2022 mystery. Um, this is, pretty much the only mystery this that I have really liked since I unsubscribed in February um, and I saw Elisa was selling it so I decided to pick it up. I will probably be, I'm thinking like the end of spring, start of summer which is a bit of a weird time for me. For me that's like November which is then like Christmas and then summer starts so I'm not sure if I want to use it like first week of summer or like end of spring um, because they are as I said separated by Christmas for me so we'll see um, but these are the full boxes um, so only gripe with this kit is you would see this kit and you would think okay colors would be probably green this like beige uh, mustardy kind of color navy and then ideally this like pinky terracotta color but knowing the shop, probably going to be beige, right? That's what I would hope for. And then we get this. And I just, it just kills me. Like, it really, really kills me. We've got, okay, we've got the terracotta, we've got the navy, and then we've just got two neutral nothing colours, and it just kills me because I feel like this could be an absolute fire kit if the colours were, like represented the full boxes but they don't so I'm gonna move on that's my two bobs worth I do like the full boxes enough to still buy the kit um, I'm probably gonna not love how the spread turns out because this just bores me to tears um, 
But again, I really, really loved the full boxes. I really love this artist. This is my favourite artist that she uses. Um, so I still decided to give it a go, but we'll see. <laughs> um, we will see. I This colour is like better than nothing, but uh, just imagine how good green would have looked. Oh, would have been beautiful. So that was the kit. Um, I love the full boxes, hate the colours, so we'll see how the spread comes out. It's going to be interesting. And then last but not least from Elisa, so she had all these Planner Hannah underlays that she was selling, and I was like, you know what, <laughs> just send them over. I'll find a use for them. Um, I also just spent a shit ton of money on more underlays, so that's fine. Normally, I am very careful and considered when I purchase underlays. Every underlay, like you'll see in this order, has a kit that it is going to be used with. So this is, as Domi would say, truly unhinged for me to just have all of these ones that don't have a home. But that's okay. I'll find a home. So, I haven't even looked through these. I d when I bought this blind, she just like kind of said there's a mix. And I was like, okay, let's do it. So, we have Mermaid Tail in hollow. Definitely be able to find a use for that. We've got two of those. Um, so, if you don't know, I only use one underlay per spread. Um, for me, the whole spread being an underlay is way too overwhelming. Um, so, I either use one sheet and bougie, or I use one sheet and then another sheet of a different underlay. Um, so, this will like, get me across two spreads. I've got Sparkle in Silver, which is just like a basic, so that's perfect. Two of those. The same, so Sparkle in Hollow. Again, that's like a basic. I'm happy with that. Um, same thing, Night Sky. I actually have a kit that I think I'm going to put this with, um, which I'll be... I think it's like one of my next kits to come up. So um, two of those in Silver. I've got two of... Two? Yeah, two of those in hollow. And then I have this Sea Friends in... I get confused with her blue colours. I don't know if this is mid-blue or light blue. Um, I've got two of those. Then I have Book in hollow. Actually, I feel like there's probably two of everything. Because so far there's been two of everything rather than me saying that every time. So two Book in hollow. I've got Shark. Is this the same blue? Uh, I think so. It looks the same to me. Um, so just more like beach stuff, sea stuff, which is cool. Flamingo in pink. I love this. Her light pink is probably the colour that I have purchased the most. Um, I really, really love the colour. Uh, we've got florals, which it's coming up um, in my spring, so I'll definitely be able to use these. We've got florals in blue. This is very interesting. I don't know when... Actually, you know what? I might have a kit that this could work. That, um, like, tea party SPC kit. The, like, mystery. I haven't used that yet. I reckon this could go really nicely. We'll see. Two of those. And then we have two in hollow and two in silver. So I will 1000% use... Pretty much all of those, a lot of them are just neutrals, so really good to have in my collection. Um, so that was everything that um, I got from Plan With Elisa. So as usual, again, thank you. I appreciate you. Um, I wouldn't have such a beautiful planner without you sending me stuff. <laughs> so I appreciate it. Um, I'm going to do my next order, which is from Planner Hannah while I'm here, um, because I've got the stuff out. So. I, as I mentioned, order everything, like, to match certain kits. Uh, I then get it in and I can't remember what kits I ordered it with. So, this is the journaling card, which is cute, but I don't have a use for it. Um, I have two freebies. I've got Love is Love in black, and then I've got Life Finds a Way, and then this is one of her new foil colours, I'm pretty sure, in um, lime. So, this is called Stars and Moons, and it is in light pink, and I cannot for the life of me remember <laughs> which kit this is for, and it's killing me. 
Um, I have no idea, so I'm going to have to go through my collection and find what that's for. Um, I have scales, which is for a kit that you will see shortly. I have leaves, which is for a kit I haven't even bought yet, but I know I want to buy. It's the um, Summer in Provence art. Um, the version that I'm getting is from Planet Fancy, and I, hers is very blue and purple based, and I really think this is going to look so beautiful. I then have palm trees, which I have no idea <laughs> what this is for as well. Um, some summer kit that I use gold, I will use this. And then this is called Groovy in Gold Hollow, and this is to go with a kit that I will be showing in a minute. So, very small order. Um, I generally kind of tend to get to like about five underlays, and then I'll just order. Oh, I missed one. Um, and then like keep loading up my cart, get to about five to ten, and then order again. Um, this is called Coral, and this is in light purple, and this is also going to be to go with the kit that I will show you. So, that is my fat stack of underlays. Um, I'm going to keep those aside, I think, um, and kind of put them with the kits as I go. Next, let's go into Glam Planner. Um, I have two mysteries to show, but um, I'm confident you guys have seen, especially this first one. This is the May Mystery Kit. I really like this kit. Um, I don't know when I would use it. It's kind of just like a random theme, but I do really like it. Um, so, I hate how tight the cellos are. They really stress me out, damn it. I just lost my double box. Let me get that. Come here. I don't want to run you over with my wheel. Okay. Okay, so this is the May 2022 mystery kit. And this is what it looks like. So, it is called Groovy and it is obviously like 60s, 70s, hippie kind of kit. Um, I, as I said, I, I do really like this. It's um, Silly Studio Art. If I, oh, The f um, fashion boxes are over there. So I always love her kits. Like, I love her art style. As I mentioned, don't really know when I'm going to use this. It's kind of a random theme, but I do like it, um, and I will be keeping it. I, I would say it's, like, perfect for spring. Put these at the back. But I have so many spring kits this year that I'm already struggling like to know which ones to use. So this will probably end up getting saved for next year. I love the colors, very me. Um, the colors kind of scream a bit more autumn, whereas the full boxes is like spring, I don't know. Then you have the double box, which is like the inside looking out of the um, combi van, the uh, what's this called? Label sampler. I love Glam Planner's new format, by the way. And then the Fashion Girls, which, I mean, is Silly Studio. Can we talk about this girl? Can we talk about her? <laughs> like, yes, please. And then the foil that it came with is Gold Glitter. Um, I don't know how much of the foil overlays I'm going to use. Although it does, like, these do look like a lot more subtle like they kind of used to be whereas recently they've just been like the whole thing has been covered um so I might use like this one which is like the pant legs like I don't really care much about the pant legs and like the front of the combi van like I might use some of them but not all of them um like this double box scene is like way too much um but I love the bottom washi um definitely <clears throat> Definitely using the overlays, definitely using the bottom washi, and then I'm sure you can probably guess, but I picked up the groovy underlays from Planner Hannah because, like, I mean, do I even need to explain this one? This is a match made in literal heaven, if I could. Like, that is, that's the vibe. Like, that's it. I'm done. That's the best. Um, the gold hollow is definitely different than the one that Glam Planner uses. Um, actually, 
This one's actually technically gold glitter, which I guess makes more sense because it's not very holographic. It's definitely a little bit holographic, but this is like <coughs> way more. But I think this is fine because the kit colors are also like red, orange, green, and yellow. And that's exactly what gold holo is. So I just had to cut out a massive coughing fit. <laughs> um, so that is the first kit that I have. And then next is this spring mystery. So if you don't want to see this one, like skip ahead. Um, but I think most people have seen it. Um, this one is not my favorite kit of all time. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. And I just don't know that I see myself like, as I mentioned, it's spring. I have so many good kits this year. I don't see myself bumping one to use this. Um, so I'm not really sure. It's pretty, but as I said, it's just not. This artist, when she has this kind of like one, not that it's the artist's fault, I get that, but one art piece per full box. Like, I don't love that style. I think it's a little boring. Like one basket, one like the underwear, one flower, like it just, one guitar. I don't know. I just feel like it kind of just seems like slapped on rather than like a cohesive kit. Like, I don't know if that makes any sense, but it's not my favorite style of kit. Um, I don't know about the orange and the yellow either. Like, I, I get that they're in the art, but I don't love when a kit has like all four like primary I know there's three primary colors, but you know what I mean? Like red, green. I'm just mid-sentence and my camera cuts off because the car's full. It's just rude. Um, so yeah, I don't love kits that have like all four colors, the primary colors. It's just not my jam. It, to me, it doesn't feel like a cohesive color scheme. It just feels like a bit of everything slapped on there. Um, yeah, so I don't know. This isn't really my style. Um, we have the double box the label sampler, the fashion girls, which I, I feel like I was going to say something quite nasty about her, but I'm not going to. Um, let's just say I don't feel like they fit in. It feels like they should be in somewhere else. Um, not really my style. And then you get two different kinds of um, overlays. So you get gold hollow. Um, which looks like this and then you get this green color which is the same green that I picked up my St. Patrick's Day underlays in and they don't match that kit at all. I don't really think they match this color either. The green tone is very odd. It's like I don't know how to like you put it up next to this and it just looks like completely different. I don't know. I This one was a bit of a miss for me, but that's okay. That happens. I understand you're not going to love everything. Um, then we move on to a kit that was absolutely not a miss. Um, I loved this kit. This was like the last release she had before she went on um, maternity leave. And she's just come back like in the last few days. So I'm looking forward to what comes next from her. I do really love her shop. I love her new format. Um, obviously I love that she works with Silly Studio. Um... So yeah, I'm kind of, I'm ready to see what she comes out with next. If I could open this. How do I, what the hell is going on here? How do I get this out? This seller has like totally stumped me. Where is the opening? Here. Jesus Christ on a bike. Oh, there we go. So, this is the Little One kit, which is a bizarre kit for me, considering my feelings about children. However, if I did have a child, this would be my kit. I am obsessed with it. I love it. It is beautiful. It is Silly Studio. The art is just incredible. The colors, the vibes, it is everything. Um, SPC brought out a, oh, excuse me, I feel like I haven't spoken in weeks. I don't know how to talk. 
SPC brought out a similar vibes kit. It was like green, neutral, rainbows, sort of very trendy. Um, and I thought that would be my kit. However, this just takes it to a whole new level. So my best friend is currently pregnant and I think that SPC kit will now be her kit. And I'll use that for um, when she has a baby. So this will be kept instead. <laughs> Maybe hoarded forever because I don't even want kids. But I, I couldn't not. Like it's it's so me in a kit. So it's beautiful. It's in her new format. Um, which is just the best. So I love it. I really, really love it. This bottom washi is so cute. And then the double box came with it, which was like the crib scene. And then I got um, version two, which this is a really cool box. Like if you were having a second baby, um, the baby's cute. The mom, obviously, like I just, I don't know everything about it. I This would be my kit. So I bought it, which, and it's going to sit in storage for who knows how long. Uh, next, we're going to go into Caress Press. Um, I haven't ordered from her in a little while, so I picked up two foil bundles to start with, and then I picked up two kits. Oh my god, can we stop using these cellos that are so bloody tight? I can't deal with it. I'm not ripping them open like a savage. So, I picked up the Movie Night kit. Actually... This one of these is going to go with a kit that I have next to me to show. So the format is the, um, like, it's got the film reel, it's got little, like, movie clappers, popcorn, that sort of thing. And then the bottom washi is just to die for. Um, I love that Caress Press does these, like, themed bundles. I really just think that is, like, unique and I really love it. <clears throat> and then I picked up the same kit in Rose and I got this idea from Rosie Plans. Um, I'm going to use this with the Glam Planner Movie Night <clears throat> Girls Night kit. Um, I've got that coming up next month so I'm going to put those together. And then in terms of kits, I have two kits. One that I have absolutely no use for. Again, it's just, it got me. It's bloody more silly studio art. She just gets me. Just lures me in. So, um, it is her wedding art. And I just died when I saw this. Like this, I have no regrets with my wedding kit. It was exactly what I wanted. But if I was getting married... Now, this would be my kit because the art is so incredible. Like, this is so much more, like, bougie <laughs> luxe than what my wedding was, but it's just beautiful. So, it's called Enchanted. Um, I don't know if I'm going to save it for, like, a wedding anniversary or, like, a. I don't really have any friends or family that are in that, like, near wedding stage so I feel like I would just be hoarding it forever whereas I think this would be a really pretty um kit to use for like my wedding anniversary which is in autumn but I feel like I don't care it also is the same week as my birthday so I gotta wait for a year that it's not the same week <laughs> um this was the freebie the I, I had to add her on like are you kidding me and then like Oh, so beautiful. I did not look that good, let me tell you. But I loved that kit, so I had to pick it up. Then I picked up this summer art. Um, this artist is, like, quickly becoming one of my faves. I feel like my other, my previous rapidly rising favourite artist has, like, stopped doing art, which is really sad. Um, and then... <clears throat> In the meantime, like, this artist has kind of taken over. I think her name is Sadie Piper Designs on Instagram. Um, but the thing I love about her art is her colour choices. Like, she nails colour. I'm actually... I just finished a week of winter, which is, like, that um, alpine ski art. But instead of being, like, brown and beige and boring it's like bright pink bright blue mint and like it's my favorite winter spread ever 
pretty much. Um, and then so she released this summer art and I was like, yes, like these colors are so fun, so different. I love them. So um, I had to pick it up. Um, I just love the art. I feel like her art is just getting better and better as well. Like I know some people don't um, love, like, oh, this color is incredible. Love her fashion people, but I feel like she's just getting better and better. Like, you go, girl. I assume it's a girl. If it's not, I apologize. But I love your work. Please keep going. We need... The more artists in the planner space, the better, honestly. It just gives the better variety. Like, we just love. So, um, I really liked these, um, brunette girls, especially this one. And then the, not again, the 15, this hole is just not happening. We're not doing very well here. Um, the 15 millimeter, so now she's just like jumped up so high. Oh man, okay. And then last but not least is my new favorite shop, which is Pink Diamond Planner Co. I have six different kits across multiple orders. I have multiple orders on the way. She is nailing the game, let me tell you. Like, absolutely nailing the game. I cannot recommend her highly enough if you haven't already checked her out. So, I'm going to start with mystery kits. I've got March, April, and May. Um, I'm certain you've already seen these, um, but if you haven't, Nera, come on, please, be respectful. If you haven't, um, you can click away now. So... Oh God, she's so cheeky. She's actually hiding in my um, planner shelves, like with my old planners. Thank you so much. <laughs> well, anyway, at least she's not in my screen. So this is the March 2022 mystery. As soon as I saw this, I knew I had to have it. Um, I love. No, I'm trying to film. Get that out of here. You are being so cheeky. I'm going to have to move you and you don't like being moved. Um, I saw this and I knew I had to have it. I love the drive-in. It is my favourite and really only way that I will watch movies these days. I love it so much. Um, and I, when I saw this, I was just like, yes, thank you so much. Um, as you probably could have guessed, I am in fact using this foil bundle with it. I love the cool toned colours of the kit. Um, I just thought the silver matched that perfectly. So these are the full boxes. Functional. I think um, the format has changed slightly since this purchase, but um, her format still works so well for me. Either way, um, this is now split, which is awesome. I love this bold blue colour. I also get um, both of the extra pages normally with the mystery. I can't say no. So that was March. Then we move on to April. And this, I mean, I mean, they're all beautiful. Like, I don't, I don't even keep saying it. But I have a very specific time in mind for this kit for when ideally I would love to use it but I don't know if I'm actually going to use it for that so as I mentioned before I'm currently reading Akatar like a court of thorn and roses and this kit is the spring court like if I had to do a kit that was the spring court it would look exactly like this so ideally I would love to use this for when the Hulu TV series comes out um, because obviously the first season or whatever it ends up being is going to be A Court of Thorn and Roses which is based in the Spring Court. Will that show ever actually come out? I don't know. <laughs> Will I actually save it for that? I also don't know. However that would be like my ideal time to use this because it is the Spring Court in a kid form. <coughs> Excuse me. It is also beautiful. Like, this is just... I cannot stop talking about Pink Diamond Planner Co. Like, I don't know what you are doing, sister, but you're just nailing it. Like, I'm obsessed. These colours. Mm. Chefs, kiss. Thank you for not doing boring neutrals. We love... Like, it's just... 
this is the spring court. Like, <laughs> that's what it is. I, I, as soon as I saw this, I knew that's what I would ideally love to use it for. Like, imagine a quote box on this. Like, oh, stop. That's the spring court. Like, that is it. It's just, it's too good. It hurts. And then, like, this is Feyre. Like, is it not? Like, <laughs> this green colour, I just... It's magic. It's honestly magic. Like, just... Thank you. Thank you so much for this gift. <coughs> it's... <coughs> oh my gosh. I can't... I'm not going to be able to cut out all these coughs, so I'm very sorry. Like, I really apologise. But I love that. Then we get into May... Um, I also, spoiler alert, have ordered June, and I'm pretty sure based on the sneak, I will be ordering July as well. So, girl, you don't miss. You do not miss. Uh, May is this vlogger, YouTuber, um, traveling kind of kit. I have no idea when I'll use this one, but I had to have it. I love the teal. These colors are just like so be I love seeing color in mystery kits it's just the best like this is mm, yes 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 it's so good I actually cannot wait to see July based on the sneak like it looks incredible the colors oh I'm so ready look at this it's just I can't. It's so good. I, like, are you kidding me? Um, this... The only thing is this full box is, like, cut very small. Like, there's a big border around it. That's kind of odd, but I don't care. I do not care. It's such a good kit. I do not care. So, those were the three mysteries that I picked up, every single one. And then we go into the three non-mysteries. Um, so, let's go into this one first. What have we got? This is called Cinco de Mayo. And this is not really something we celebrate here in Australia. Um, so I won't be... Oops, I just headbutted the ring light. That was excellent. Um, I won't be saving it for like th that holiday but I will be using it as a summer kit because how could you not like the colors incredible I don't pretend to know a lot about um, this culture because in Australia we don't have a large population um, but from what I have heard and read and seen other planner creators sort of talking about it's very like, it's very well done um, and respectful and, like, hits all the right marks. So I'm really happy to support um, Pink Diamond as well for giving us the kids that we need. So, like, are, are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding? I feel like um, Shan plans with Chan plans with this. Like, the colours, I just... No, it's too much. It really... Like, that is just going to be the best spread. Um, I did see Samantha from Samantha Plans and Reads um, do a spread with this kit. And she added on the extra colour. Um, and she did a rainbow spread. And I am so... Well, I've decided to steal that idea. Um, I ordered this at the time with the kit. And then I saw her spread idea and went back and I was like, I have to do that. And I ordered the colours. I didn't realise I'd already bought the purple one, but that's okay. So I'm pretty sure she did, like, I know she did pink twice. I don't know how, though. So I'm going to have to go and maybe pink, green, blue, orange, yellow, purple, and then pink. I don't know. I'm going to have to go stalk her Instagram because, y'all, you can bet I'm doing that. It looked so good. Um, so that was that kit. I am obsessed is an understatement. Like that's just not okay. You can't be doing it that, but you just can't be. Your kits are too good. Um, okay. Next is this kit. So the next two kits I, um, really weighed up 
multiple different shops and who I was going to order from. Um, and Pink Diamond was my favourite version in both. Um, so this one's called Atlantis. Some of the other versions of this art I saw, the kits were like way too blue for me. Obviously, I understand <laughs> that water is like the main feature, but the whole kit was just blue. And it just wasn't really my vibe. So, I love the way that um, Pink Diamond put this together. I think I was comparing this with SPC, but from memory, SPC had two scenes. And I hate that in a kit. I hate two scenes. It's, excuse me, too much. Doesn't flow. I don't like it. So, I decided to go with this one. And then I have just flipped and seen the colours. And I'm like, are you... It just, you can't be doing this to me. It's too good. This looks incredible. <sighs> so, um, love this so much. I did order some underlays for it as well, which I have no idea which ones they were. Um, I'm thinking, what was it, these? Like, that kind of makes sense. Or, was it these? I feel like that makes sense. Yeah, it was definitely those. So I'm using the blue hollow to really like pull out the blue tones in the kit, which I like, but I don't like it being the whole kit. So love that. And then last but certainly not least, I have this um, kit and I really debated actually purchasing this because... Well, we all know my personal feelings, but I decided I love the way she'd put this together and I was going to support the shop, um, and that was the end of it. So, love, love, love this. This one I decided to really purchase and really go ahead. Like, the final decision was because of the colours. I have never seen a summer kit with these colours, and I love that. I love the breakup of the colours. It just really does it for me. Um, I have purchased a bundle from Alicia Craft, which will be in my next haul, um, which I'm now looking at the colours and I don't know that it's going to go, but um, it goes with the colours in the art, so hopefully it looks okay. I did get this extra box, which I don't really understand this extra box. It doesn't really go with the art at all to me, but anyway. Um, and then I did purchase the coral underlays in purple which I think are really like that is that's the vibes like that's it that looks amazing so that my friends is my haul I hope you all enjoyed it I know I was coughing and I apologize but I'm not going to be able to cut it all out I hope you enjoyed meeting my cat who is now lounging on the chair next to me like she should have been the whole time but thank you all for tuning in. I'm going to try and be a little bit more active on this channel, but we'll see how that goes. <laughs> thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.